Hi, I hope you enjoyed the previous challenge that I gave you regarding the balancing at simulation and I hope you also have learned at least something from it about the moment and talk. And so here will be the video that helped you to consolidate the knowledge and concepts about moment. First, equilibrium. There are actually two kind of equilibrium that you can talk about. One is called the translational one. One is called the rotational one. So for example, my pen here, if it is literally not moving, then yes, it's fulfilling both equilibrium. So uh, it's perfectly in equilibrium, that is to say. Uh, if the pen is rotating, but then it's not actually moving, uh, if you look at the center of the pen, so it's only rotating. So that means it reached translational equilibrium, but not rotational. In other words, if the pen is going up and down like this, for example, uh, there's no rotation evolving. So the rotational equilibrium is rich, but not the translational because it's moving uh, up and down, for example. And therefore, if you want an object to really maintain equilibrium in these two conditions, then first of all, uh, you need to reach the net force in all directions, that means both horizontally and vertically, uh, to be zero net force. This is basically what we learned in the previous chapter. However, think about the case where you may have, like what I showed you, a pen, and you have a force, maybe say 10 Newton, and then here is also 10 Newton. Uh, you can see that the upward force and downward force are both 10 Newton. So in theory, the pen or whatever it is uh, shall not move, shall not accelerate at all. However, uh, from your experience, you can see that if I pull this up and go pull this down, then this pen will rotate. So that is why we have to consider one more condition and that is something to do with the moment that we talk about. So similar to the challenging game that we talked about earlier, we have to calculate the moment about a certain point or actually any point uh, in terms of the clockwise direction versus the other direction, which is anti-clockwise. So the anti-clockwise moment and the clockwise moment should equal, and that is to say uh, net moment or you can call it torque as well that's just the other name equal to zero at any point and again this is for the rotational equilibrium so you may want to put that down again the equation for calculating moment will be force times the perpendicular distance from a point if you don't understand the idea of perpendicular distance like you don't really understand that uh, that's okay uh, we'll try to practice more and eventually you will find out uh, what it actually means when you encounter some special question however you should pay attention that whenever we talk about moments it you have to consider one particular point so for example again for my pen uh, if I consider this point okay so you can imagine this point is fixed and depending what I do so if I try to push it this direction that the moment is going in this direction. Okay, if I push the pen down with a force like this, then the moment is going in this direction. So for moment, uh, there are only two directions. So either it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. For force, like the forces you learned in the previous chapter, however, don't tell me a force is clockwise or anti-clockwise. Force can only go up, down, left, right, front or back in this 3D world. You can't have a force that is in a certain clockwise or any clockwise direction. That is called the moment instead. And that is why other than the word moment or torque, you can also call that as the turning effect of a force for moment. The units of moment, as we said earlier, you can deduce from the equation directly, which is force, Newton, distance is meter. And therefore the unit is simply Newton meter yeah this is the unit simply so for now let's try to do some practice and I believe if you are okay with the challenging game last time you should be okay with this also so how about uh, try to pause the video and try to do the first three questions first 
a few moments later. Okay, question one. Uh, the moment of the force depends on two factor. So, yeah, I guess it's the equation. So, uh, one is the magnitude of the force. So, how strong the force is in how many newton? Uh, the other one is the distance. Well, more precisely, perpendicular distance from a point. Okay, which is the equation itself. Number two, uh, what is principle of moment? That is basically what we uh, wrote earlier, that the clockwise moment equal to the anti-clockwise moment at any point. So then uh, they will reach the rotational equilibrium. What are the other rules also apply if an object is in equilibrium? Then that is referring to the translational one, uh, which is the net force is zero in all direction. Question number three. Um, here we've got a diagram. It actually calculate the moment of four newton from the point O, which is here. So uh, four newton, which is this one, and here is four meter, and therefore for three a, the moment uh, is going to be four. Well, let's write that equation. So four times the distance, which is four times four, which is sixteen. Again, uh, remember to write down the unit, and that is newton meter. For part B, uh, calculate the moment for 6 Newton from point O. So here, yeah, we just got the same thing. Again, the equation and then uh, force is 6, distance is 2, and therefore it's 12 Newton meter. And so now part C is asking you whether or not the plank would balance. And the answer is no, because uh, you can see the moments are not the same in the two directions, clockwise and anti-clockwise. And you can see uh, the one that is going in this direction, which is 16, is way, way bigger than the other one, which is 12 only. And therefore, it will go in the clockwise direction. So that will be the answer, clockwise direction, because uh, you can say, um, if I call this torque 1, this is torque 2, then say the torque 1 uh, greater than torque 2 and therefore it will turn in a clockwise direction okay you can write in the full sentence oh by the way for the symbol itself uh, I guess some of you may be confused uh, this is not T okay when you write it don't write T uh, I know torque starting with T and, and it's very intuitive to think uh, the letter is simply T this is a Greek letter we call tau and the way that you write it is something like this, right? A bit curved like this, and then write like this, right? We call it um, torque, or the symbol itself is called tau, T-A-U. You can search on Google if you want to. So part D is asking you if you can add an extra force at point P right here then uh, what is the force that you need? So obviously you need to have a force that is going down in order to maintain the balance on both sides. And that moment needs to be four, which is the difference between 16 and 12. And therefore I can write here that the torque required is going to be equal to force time distance. Of course, the torque is going to be 16 minus 12. Uh, instead of writing 4, writing 14, sorry, 16 minus 12 is better to let the reader know how you obtain 4. So let's write down this. For the force uh, is simply the unknown, and the distance from P to O is 2 plus 2. Okay, again, let your reader know, because this is 2 meter, this is 2 meter. So write 2 plus 2 instead of 4. And lastly, you just have to figure out uh, with the algebra, so 4 and 4, yeah, so the answer is simply 1 Newton. And here, I will also specify it is downward, okay, because you can have a force that is going up also. Lastly, for question 3, which direction must force at P at? Well, yeah, we have just answered this question already. Now, let's try question 4. If you are confident to do that, pause the video now and try it yourself first. A few moments later, Okay, question four. Um, it says diagram B, which is the one that I have prepared for you down below. So it asks you the upward force from the support. Um, first of all, you can see there are three masses, right? One, 
two, three here, and they already reached the rotational equilibrium because uh, you can see the calculation is show that the total moment are the same in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. And so the only thing that you have to consider is since the whole thing is going to reach equilibrium as a in total, including translational one, and therefore since the downward force is ten. 8 and 3 and therefore the only upward force which is a normal force going upward uh, will be the same as the sum of these and therefore what you can write about is F equals to or you can say uh, if you really want to express it nicely what I'll do is uh, I'll write F equals to 0 and therefore the force we want to calculate minus 10 minus 8 minus 3 equal to 0 because the F is going to be upward force, that like small f is going to be upward force and then we have to minus the other three because they are in the opposite direction and therefore the force you want to find out is going to be 21 Newton now part B asks you if we take moment about P instead okay cause the one that they calculated which is 20 nanometer in terms of newton meter and 20 new, newton meter here uh, from the center which is O point O however when you reach equilibrium you can actually take moment at any point you like okay any point that is convenient to you so uh, this example is trying to illustrate to you that uh, you can also do other points as well so let's say point P so in this case uh, they ask you which force is going to be clockwise so uh, for this one this is going wait wait, wait this is the Point, right so imagine this is like the pivot and so this is going clockwise this is going clockwise and this is also going clockwise so all the downward force will give you a clockwise direction while the upward force is going to give you an anti-clockwise direction so both part B and C will ask you to calculate the total moment in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction about P so let's just try to calculate it uh, to get you easier to follow I will just write it next to it and I'm not going I'm not going to write the equation again so let's start with 10 Newton that one that is going to be 10 Newton times the distance which is 4 minus 2 which gives you 20 Newton meter and then for the x Newton that one uh, is going to be 8 times the total distance which is 1 and 4 which is 5 5 times 8 is 40 Newton meter and for 3 Newton that one the torque is going to be 3 times the total distance which is 4 and 4 so I'll write 4 plus 4 here which is 24 Newton meter okay so these are all for the um, clockwise direction if you try to add these things up 20 40 and 24 you will find out all these uh, should equal to 84 Newton meter going in the clockwise direction okay and now we will look at point O that force because earlier we find out there's actually a force right and that will give you a moment so that one will be counterclockwise or anti-clockwise that moment is going to be 21 because we calculated earlier times the distance which is 4 which surprisingly and interestingly it's going to be the same magnitude so same uh, 84 here and 84 here because the whole system is simply in equilibrium so it, at any point like what we said earlier about the moment of principle of moment uh, at any point it will work so that is to say in the future unless the question asks you um, to pick a certain point uh, you should choose a point that you find probably the easiest so this is something you have to consider in the future oh my god wow oh my god that's all for this video in the next video we'll try another set of practice questions uh, which involving a more complicated situation i'll see you again in the next video bye